What's going on LEGO Maniacs? It's Ty, the LEGO guy here, and welcome to another LEGO Stars review. Today we're taking a look at the relatively new Luke Skywalker's Red 5 helmet that's set 75327. It had 675 pieces, came out in 2022, and it retails for 60 USD. This may be one of the more unique helmets that they've made just because most of them have been, you know, Imperial helmets, Mandalorian helmets. This is the first Rebel helmet we're getting. So we're gonna take a look at its positives and its negatives. But enough talk, let's get right into it. And to start us off, we'll begin by taking a look at the box art. What I love about the helmet line is how premium their boxes look. Like this is basically a mini scale UCS set. That's what it looks like and that's what it is. It is rated 18 and up, but if you're 12 to 18 or 12 to 17, you're still gonna like these helmet sets, especially if you're looking for a good display piece. Moving to the side of the box, it just shows off Luke's helmet. And then on the back, it gets into some of the movie footage. So the helmet does look quite accurate. We will obviously take a closer look in this review. On the side of the box, it just says Luke Skywalker. On the top, there's literally just a piece. And then on the bottom, just the barcode. I do wish that this uh, set included a mini scale, or not a mini scale, but a mini figure, like a Luke mini figure that you could put beside the plaque. But let's now take a look at the set. And we'll start by giving you guys a 360 view of the helmet. There's a ton of detail on this thing, which is what you'd expect. The Rebel helmets were quite bedazzled. Love the fact that you have all these Vs here, the Roman numeral for five. And there's five fives on either side. I didn't know that. So interesting little factoid about Luke's helmet. These are printed pieces. They're not stickers in case you guys were wondering. However, on the side here, these are stickers. The center piece is a sticker, but this is a printed piece. Getting a little bit more detailed, you'll notice on the bottom here, it says Luke Skywalker, Red 5. This is a printed piece as well. You have a little mic along with the chin strap. You guys a view of the inside of the helmet. Just basically a black bar that holds the helmet upright. And then on the side of the uh, helmet, as we just took a look at, you have some more printing, more stickers. Moving to the top of the helmet though, we have a couple Rebel emblems. These are printed pieces. This would have been a pain to apply, so it's happy about that. The yellow and white bars though are unfortunately stickers, the three of them, but they weren't too difficult to apply to make relatively straight. And my favorite part of this helmet is definitely going to be the orange translucent pieces. They just really make this set pop. Overall, I do quite like this helmet. That pretty well does it. Let's now get into the end of the review and get my final thoughts. Well guys, that was my review. Do hope you enjoyed it. Personally, I like this helmet. I like the fact that it is so unique, at least as of now. They haven't brought out any other Rebel helmets, which I would be a fan of them doing. I feel that you can obviously tell what it is. I love these big orange goggles, I guess, that are at the front of the Rebel helmet. They just really make it pop. I'm a big sucker for translucent pieces, by the way, in case you guys didn't know. My only issue with this helmet set, which this goes for any helmet set, is I really think that they should include a little minifigure that goes next to the uh, sign. I think that that would be great. It would just add a little bit more to it and then I'd feel that these sets were very fairly priced because if you're a big price per piece person, 675 pieces for 60 USD is not bad. But considering the fact that it doesn't include any minifigures, eh, it's a little bit of a drawback. But besides that, I'm really liking the helmet sets in general. This one has a crazy amount of detail, a lot of printed pieces, and there are some stickers, but I'd say that at least half the pieces are printed, which is nice. Overall, I do like this one. It's unique, it's well built. Just again, I wish that they'd include a minifigure. But as always, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this one. If you like it, if you don't, any areas you think they could maybe improve on it. Always interested to hear your guys' take. But that pretty well does the review. But if you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, you know, definitely consider subscribing and click that bell so you're notified for any future LEGO Stars reviews, comparisons. We do one every single Tuesday. 
and they're a lot of fun considering that Lego Star Wars has been around since 1999 all the way to the present. But that's all I got for you again, but thanks again for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.